down a little bit for me. Uh, tilt it down. Thank you. A young minister in my home church, uh, and I remember the pastor had all of us ministers together, and he was giving us assignments of what he wanted us to do, and the uh, purpose was winning souls. Thank you for the fan. And he uh, was dealing with one of the female ministers, and he was telling her what he wanted her to do, and he was directing her and another sister that she wanted those two sisters to work together on a particular assignment. Well, I think it was the pastor's sister at the time. And um, um, the pastor's sister or the minister raised her hand and said, I don't want to work with that sister because uh, her spirit and my spirit don't agree. I want to work with this sister because mine and her sp spirit agree. And the pastor said, the reason why your spirit and her spirit agree is because you both have the spirit of error. And that was the first time I heard that, and it was very interesting uh, that he said that. He said, uh, I am the pastor, and I tell you who to work with. And the fact that you don't want to work with that individual because your spirit don't agree with her, but you want to work with this sister because your two spirits agree, that means that both of you two have the wrong spirit, the spirit of error. Now, let's examine the statement. Her spirit and my spirit don't agree, but my spirit and this sister's spirit agrees. What spirit are we talking about? Because the Bible says there's one body and how many spirits? One spirit. Now the fact that she said my spirit, that's not the Holy Ghost, what she was talking about. Paul said in 1 Corinthians chapter 14, uh, he talks about praying in the spirit and then he talks about my spirit praying. Now, when he uses the term my spirit, he wasn't talking about the Holy Ghost. He was talking about himself. Because the Bible says that there is the spirit of man, then there is the spirit of God. So the statement, my spirit, first of all, it was not the Holy Ghost because where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is what? Liberty and there's also unity. Where the Spirit of God or the Holy Ghost is in control, then you have liberty and you also have unity. Because the Spirit of God works in concert with itself. Everything that operates in the church operates as the Holy Ghost dictates, not as the spirit of the individual dictates. Because the spirit of the individual, we got to remember that our spirits are not born again. Our spirits are not saved. Our souls are saved. The spirit of the individual is the mind of the individual or a part of the fallen nature. It is our soul, the eternal part of us, that is saved because it is the eternal part of us that will live forever. Can you say amen? And the eternal part of us is what God saved. Our flesh is not saved. Our fallen nature is not saved. Our soul is saved. And our soul being saved, it is our responsibility to keep our spirit, which is our mind, and our flesh under the control of the Holy Ghost. Or under the control of our soul that is saved. Now you all follow? So, man is a trichotomy. He's body, soul, and spirit. When we die, we die because God takes the spirit of life out of the body. The body goes.